Hey, uh, I'm Andrew Good. Uh, it's my first time presenting to this group. Thank you for having me. I'll try to make this quick, although I am told that since Pratik wasn't here, I have 30 minutes. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll try to make this quick. So, um, who am I? I am Andrew Good. I work for NPN, and uh, I am a uh, maintainer of the Yards project. What we're going to talk about today, uh, real quick, is how do I build a CLI app with, uh, <coughs> specifically with Yards? Um, Yards is pretty cool. Uh, if, does anybody know you can actually write CLI apps with JavaScript? I mean, that's, when I found that out, I was pretty blown away. It's, it's so easy, no one makes it so easy, it's crazy. Um, and Yards makes it that much easier. So, uh, I, I also thought, what better way to present um, about a CLI app than to write a CLI app to uh, my presentation slides? So that's what I did. Okay, let's get started. Ah, let's go on. Let's look at the next slide. So first of all, uh, CLI basics for in, in Node. This is not the R specific, but best practice. You got to have Shebang at the at your at top of your JavaScript file. Which is your bin file. Um, it's going to be used as a bin. Uh, make your file executable. Declare it as a bin in your package JSON. And uh, if you want to look real quick at what that looks like, here it looks like this. So my little uh, presentation tool is called YL for Yarns Lightning. And, uh, and then if you want to use Yarns, which I highly recommend, you can uh, NPM install Yarns. And save it to your package JSON as a fancy. Yargs, what is Yargs? Yargs is a priority name for a CLI framework. Um, it's the official successor to Optimist, which was written by Substack a um, long time ago. And uh, how does it work? It's basically a, a simple little library where you use chainable config methods. Um, it's a synchronous library, so that keeps things somewhat simple. Um, we're going to look at some code examples. Um, it has a very easy uh, upstream parsing, or RV parsing. Um, it comes with uh, automated help usage checks out of the box, some automated validation, support for commands, um, auto help emerging flags, which is nice to have, and uh, config files, and, and many, much more. I mean, we won't cover all of this, but we'll cover uh, all right, first of all, when you think of CLI, what do you think of? I think of flags, I think of options, I think of uh, you're passing in um, some input on your command line that's going to affect the behavior of your CLI. So um, in YARPS, this is really easy to do. You just use, there's a method called uh, option. You give the name of what your option should be, and you pass it an object that kind of describes um, what that what that option is and how it should behave. So like in this example, I've got a foo option and a bar option. Foo is a string, it's required, and if I print out the help text, it'll have that description. The bar here is a boolean, which is just a flag without a value um, on the command line, which is interpreted as true or false. Um, more about options. In yards, uh, it's literally just um, it's literally just a, a bunch of configuration kind of mashed together to describe something. It has support for um, aliases, so like in this option, in this uh, example, I have a foo option still, a bar option still, but now they have an alias for f, so I can just dash, pass dash f instead of dash dash foo for my flag, and uh, we can actually run this. Let's see, so I pass f. Uh, let's see what happens if I do this. Or you can also declare the type of the option, give it a default value if you need to, tell it, tell your if it's required. You can uh, also group it for help text. Um, put your options into, into groups in the help text. Um, and then uh, if you want it to be global or not, which means it will be preserved for commands. If it's like that. We'll talk about that. So what happens if I do this? Oh no, I'm missing required argument. Ooh. Okay, well, what if I do this? <coughs> oh, cool. So that worked. I can also uh, pass in B for uh, my bar flag here. B is true. Maybe. Right. 
special options. There are some special options. Could you have shortened the window so that, like, I think the text in the bottom, the people in the back ah, may not be able to see oh, it. Oh, So, and then I've got a couple options here, and then 
Um, also, the example, you can use the example method to give example commands to print in your help text, which is pretty handy. And uh, there's an epilogue, which you can just kind of use as uh, uh, some outro text at the bottom of the help text. And then you can control spacing with this wrap method. You can either pass a null, which means don't do any wrapping, just do it as it is, or you can specify a number, which is how many, um, how many rows in my, uh, in my terminal do I want to uh, hard wrap at. You can also specify if you just want to use the whole max width of the, of the terminal. So, take a quick look at this. So this is what that code looks like. Nice, pretty help text in my CLI app. And it's literally just a few, a few lines of code. Um, uh, you can customize Yarg's functionality. There's a check function for doing post parsing validation. Um, you can uh, do your own custom error handling with a, by passing a function to the fail method. And um, you can also have some more control. Maybe I don't want to show help when, when errors occur. Or maybe I don't want to exit the process um, help, when help, help is given or version is given. So you have the flexibility to do that with errors. And this is, for example, I've got a check function here. It's going to check if the man is it's greater than max, which is a no no. And uh, we'll throw an error, otherwise, it will proceed. So since I'm running out of time here, here are some of the other things that we didn't cover in YARGS. And YARGS is, is a, a feature-rich CLI library for writing uh, CLI programs <coughs> using JavaScript, using Node. Um, and it's pretty handy. I recommend everybody check it out. Other things that you, that you can do is support for config files. Um, you can allow users of your CLI to, uh, you can define config and package JSON. Um, it supports parsing in bars. Variables, um, commands as modules. Yarg has I18 in support for help text, which, as far as I know, is the only Node CLI that has the best support on the validation, batch completion, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for listening. I encourage everyone to check out Yarg. Here's our cool website. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got some to do something. No, Substack did not draw that. Uh, my uh, colleague Chris Dickinson uh, drew that. That's Chris. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot.